In September 2014, I had a special job. Every day, I threw a 60-foot pipe off the side of a boat, watched it for three hours, and hoped it came back. Now, I wasn't crazy. I also wasn't fishing. Instead, I was on a scientific research cruise. That meant I was sailing on a boat to the middle of the ocean to pick up rocks from the ocean floor. Today, I'm going to talk to you about why scientific research cruises are important for my field, geology, and how they work. As geologists, our job is to understand the history of the Earth. Why? Climate change. The best way to answer the question of what's going to happen to our climate is to compare it to what happened in the past. Under different climate conditions, like different temperatures and ice volumes, different types of rocks will form. This means if we see certain types of rocks that formed a million years ago, we know what the climate was like a million years ago. In other words, we use the past to understand the present and predict the future. Now, the human historical record lasts about 5,000 to 10,000 years. The rock record lasts for billions of years. If you're a historian sitting in ancient Rome, you'll be able to tell us what Rome looked like and what France and Spain and maybe parts of England looked like. But you won't be able to tell us about North America because you and the rest of the Roman world have never seen it. Similarly, if you're a rock sitting in the Italian Alps, you'll be influenced by the geologic events like volcanoes and earthquakes in Europe and the Mediterranean, but not in North America. And because of that, this rock can only tell us about what the region around the Italian Alps was like. But rocks in the ocean, they're different. They're different because of how they form. You see, rocks on land get weathered, which means broken down by wind and water into tiny particles. These particles get carried to the ocean by rivers, and then the water in the ocean mixes all these particles together. That means rocks in the ocean have particles from Europe and Asia and Africa and North America all mixed together, which means these rocks are much better at telling us what the entire world looked like, not just what a piece of the world looked like. That's why it's so important to get these rocks from the seafloor. So how does a research cruise do that? Well, it's kind of like using a cookie cutter. You take a pipe, you send it down to the bottom of the ocean, you drive it as quickly as you can into the seafloor, and the sediment gets crushed inside. Now, you hope your pipe doesn't hit rock that's too hard, in which case it breaks. That's happened before. You also hope your pipe doesn't get stuck in the rock, which means your ship is now anchored to the bottom of the seafloor. It can't move. That's happened before, too. Finally, you hope it comes back. That usually happens. And when we have these rocks, these tiny wrecks of class cli past climate, we now can predict the future of our planet's climate and our existence on Earth. Thank you.